Conquer your stage, self-evaluation and constructive feedback. Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we're going to be delving into a crucial part of public speaking and presentations, the post-presentation reflection and improvement. We'll focus specifically on the aspect of evaluating performance and feedback. Remember, true growth comes from acknowledging our strengths and areas for improvement. Self-evaluation is the process of reflecting on your own performance. After giving a presentation or public speaking, it's essential to take a step back and objectively assess how you did. This includes considering aspects like your speech content, delivery, body language, tone of voice, and audience interaction. Why is it crucial? Because it provides a platform for self-improvement. By understanding our performance, we can identify the areas we excelled in and those we need to work on. We can then strategize and improve our future presentations. Self-evaluation might seem daunting, but it's a process that anyone can learn. Let's talk about a few techniques you can use. 1. Self-reflection. This involves asking yourself targeted questions about your performance. For instance, was my speech clear and well articulated? Or, did I maintain eye contact with my audience? 2. Record and review. By recording your presentations, you can observe and analyze your performance objectively. Pay attention to your body language, tone, and audience engagement. 3. Peer reviews. Asking a trusted friend or mentor to observe your presentation can also be highly beneficial. They can provide you with an external perspective on your performance. Feedback is another essential tool for self-improvement. It provides a new perspective on your performance, which can be invaluable for growth. Here's how to handle it effectively. 1. Be open. Always be open and ready to receive feedback, whether it's positive or constructive criticism. 2. Listen actively. When receiving feedback, ensure that you understand it fully. Ask for clarification if necessary. 3. Reflect and act. After understanding the feedback, reflect on how it applies to your performance. Make a plan to incorporate it into your future presentations. It's important to maintain a balance between self-evaluation and external feedback. Both of them provide unique insights that can help you improve your public speaking and presentation skills. Don't forget, both self-evaluation and feedback should be approached with a growth mindset. They are not meant to criticize or bring you down, but to help you understand how you can become a better speaker. And that wraps up our session on post-presentation reflection and improvement, specifically on evaluating performance and feedback. Remember, every presentation is an opportunity to learn and grow. So embrace self-evaluation and feedback, and continue on your journey to become a confident, captivating speaker. Keep practicing, stay positive, and never stop learning. Until next time, happy learning!